Where am I? What is this strange place? And how did I end up here at all? Em. Oh no, don't do that, Mikey. Put your head down, because I'm going to fall to the bottom. I've never been so scared in my life. Why are you doing this at all? Why is there nothing here except this strange field? So it should be. Is this a dream? Hey, who else are you? What do you need here? You also got here randomly and don't know how to get out. It turns out that now you and I are alone in this situation. And both now don't know what to do here. Hey, don't touch anything here. We've been here for a long time. And, as you can see, I'm the only one left here. So you're not going to be in charge here because I'm the most important here. And you better not argue with me. So, let's agree with you that we will not quarrel with you. We both found ourselves in the same situation. And I wouldn't want to repeat the fate of your friends who will never be able to get out of here. Okay, I agree with you. We can do it with you. So let's do it already, or do you understand me? Now I'll tell you what you need to do. Namely, chop down trees so that we have boards. But don't be afraid. I have some items that would grow trees quickly, so Skui. So we've already done almost everything. I heard you, but let's not tell me what to do. I can handle it without you. You'd better explain to me what's going on here at all, and why we ended up on the head of a huge Mikey in the first place. I don't know what we're doing here at all and how we got here, so you better not ask me such questions. So let's just try to survive. Just make sure that he doesn't raise his head. One of the villagers died. So, I think you now understand what we're dealing with. But the saddest thing is that we stayed here. And we don't know what to do to get back to your village. Okay, I heard you. So you don't have to make excuses. I don't care exactly what you say there. But you could have found out during this time what's wrong with him. And how we ended up here. But... It's a pity that he can't hear us. Or can't talk to us. I would be... I don't mind chatting with him. I do not know why this is so. So you better ask him this question. But I can tell you that I have never tried to talk to him. But it seems to me that something is wrong here. But I haven't had time to figure out what exactly. So we will... We have to find out as soon as possible. Do you understand me or not? So, come on. You're not going to show off here, I'd say E. But you're finally going to do something. I hope that you understand me perfectly. And you won't argue with me anymore. So keep building this platform on which we will be safe with you. Just don't overdo it because suddenly Mikey will lift up his head and break something here. You have to be ready for this. Do you understand me or not? Of course I understand you. I am here, several dozen times more than you, so I know better what and how we should do. But we still have to find out what happened to your friend. I think that's the whole secret. So let's just come up with something. And we won't fall from here, because it won't be very fun. And I don't want to stay here alone. So, to begin with, we must at least do something useful and ensure our safety here. And only later, we will find out what happened to my friend. Mikey, if you can hear me, then just wait. Sooner or later, we will understand what happened to you and help you. And then we will finally be able to return to our village, as the villager said about it. Yes. That's exactly what I told you. But, over time, we will be able to develop here to such a level that we will eventually be able to build our own village here. But, I have one thought. I think that we can get into his body through his head and find out what happened to him. So let's check it out. And then we may still be able to get out of here. Something seems to me that this is a bad idea. And in vain we decided to get here at all, because we will not succeed. Alas, he's, so it seems to us that we will have to do what you said, namely build a new farm here for ourselves. Oh, sorry, not a farm, but a village. But there will be a farm there too. So you can say that I wasn't even mistaken. I have solved this issue. So now we will be able to find out exactly what is there. Why did you do it at all? Why did you blow up his head? Do you think it will be nice for him? 
It seems to me that you will need to blow up your head too, so that you would become smarter, because I'm already afraid of you. But be careful, because he's starting to raise his head again. And it's all because of you. Something I don't really like the way you just told me about it. But if you say there are no other options, so I'd rather listen to you. Let's do it so that my friend lives and that's all I want. I don't need anything else. I've already told you. And I hope you're not kidding me. I'll even give you diamonds for what you did. Just give me back my friend. Didn't you do it? I like it all. I think that you really can even become a replacement for my friend. You even look very similar to him. But only you differ in color. But I think that I will get used to it. And we will live in our new house when we finish it. That is, when you finish. Just let's not get distracted. We have to finish the house in 20 minutes. So come on, guys. Don't stop and don't be lazy. Hey, where are you going? You shouldn't have killed him. And anyway, why haven't you died yet and why are you doing this? Do you really think that you will be able to resurrect your friend? Oh no, he's already gone. So I have to catch up with him no matter what it costs me. I have to follow him or at least just stop him from doing what he's up to. And I'll do it, I promise you. Wow, you're right. It's really very huge. Is it even possible? Or how will it exist like that? Can you imagine? It's very strange. And who would have thought that this could happen? It's some kind of shock. And I'm not going to make armor for myself because I already found what I needed in the chest. And I was satisfied, but... And now you're fashionable here. So, let's go further and look at this house. Just let's be quiet. We don't know what can threaten us here. And in general, who lives here? And he seems nice to me. It's a pity that we won't be able to release him. But let's try to feed him. Suddenly he will become kinder. But at least he will like it. I hope that he will be friends with us. So come on. Don't be shy. You look at him. How can you not feed him? He's very cool. I want to save him. You too? Okay. I'll wait for you here. Just hurry up. Because I don't want to be here for a long time. And I think you can do it much faster. Okay? And anyway... You know that I don't really like fishing very much. I don't really like sitting here with a fishing rod and waiting for the fish to start pecking. Yes, it's a good idea. So let's get out of here. Just wait for me. I'm not a master like you, okay? Of course I understand everything. You're the coolest here. But I can't stay here for so long. You have to help me. So even here we are inside, I, I like this. But what do we see here? Here again, there are a lot of Mikey, and they are all kind of strange. What are they doing here? This is very strange. There is also some kind of builder, some kind of mine and very small brains. But I'm not surprised at this. I knew he had about such brains. Okay, and let's not discuss this boy and get out of here, okay? Just come on faster. I feel like we've almost got out of here, and now everything will be fine with us when we get out of here. Do you even see it? How lucky we are that we can now turn into water. If this hadn't happened, then everything would have been bad for us, and we wouldn't have been able to get out of here. Do you understand me or not? Okay, let's not get hung up on this and just finally get away from get here before it's too late. Okay? So, he probably thinks that he did something cool by trapping me. But he did it for nothing. Because I won't forget this and I will take revenge. And it's better for him not to know how strong my anger is, because he will remember this day forever. And I will do everything to destroy him, because I didn't come up with all this for nothing. How good that I have already prepared in advance, so that he does not even guess what he has done. His life after this trap will not be the same, I promise it. But first, I have to find him. And this is the most difficult thing that can be. And I hope, that he has not gone somewhere far away or, for example, on his head, because I will not find him there. How funny you are. 
I don't even know how to react to your words, um, uh, because everything you do is really meaningless, so just don't tell me anything. I know exactly what to do, so that you become the same as us. Do you understand me? Why do you keep running away? Do you really think you can destroy me or leave? You're just wasting my time. And where did you run to anyway? Why did you eat the cake? And what are you doing? No one will negotiate with you, so don't even hope for it. Just accept your fate, because everything is already decided. You will either die, or become a zombie today. If I were you, I would choose the second option. Would you like it? Since you can't understand it, I only want the best for you. How can you not understand this? Or don't you want to admit it? Then everything becomes clear to me, and I will have to use the first option. But you yourself forced me. So don't be indignant later. Only, I would probably have already changed my opinion. He is somehow too strong. But this is not surprising, because he is much more than ten times us. So if he kills you, I won't be able to help you, okay? Just don't suck it off. Although we don't really succeed in destroying him, but we're still together, which means that we won't give up, and I won't let you offend. You just remember that. I hope you understand me. Mikey, I have great news. I found a firearm. So, now he won't have any chances at all. Now we're going to have a lot of fun with him now. So now we're going to dictate our rules here. You're ready for this, right? Why are you bothering me again? I don't understand why you can't live in peace. Okay, I understand that there will be no benefit from him at all. So I will go to this temple myself. And I hope that I can find something useful here. But, so far, I don't really like it here. I would even say that I'm afraid of something. But I hope that everything will be fine with me. I haven't coped with this in this world yet. Don't get distracted by them. We have to move on. And we will do it, and nothing will stop us. Do you understand me? Look, and here it seems something really interesting begins. Did you even expect to see this? Because I'm generally shocked by this. And do you think that we will be able to get through it? Yes, we have no other option if we want to stop the rotation of this house after all. So let's finish this and finally find out what is there. Because I can't wait anymore. I hope that everything will be fine with me and I won't have to do anything complicated, okay? Well, let's just finish this test and see what's next. But something I don't like what awaits us next. It seems that this is not the end. So let's just go through this nonsense and get out of here. Why is his head spinning here at all? And what is going on here at all? Is this some kind of mental hospital? No, we have to do something here to get further and open the doors. So let's look for something, some buttons or chests or levers. Just look carefully and don't accidentally break that spinning head. If something bad happens, I wouldn't want to accidentally suffer from it, just like you. I think you can already guess what I'm building here, but it seems that I will spend a lot of time on it, which I don't have right now, but I will do it. No one can stop me. Only, I hope that JJ won't come back here, because I don't want him to see what I'm doing here, because it should be a surprise for him, and the surprise won't be small. But, I can tell you one thing, it's that I'm tired of waiting for it. Oh, don't wait. I wanted to say that I'm tired of building it. Well, I made a mistake. It doesn't happen to anyone. Don't judge me, okay? So, I've almost finished my construction, but it's only for a short time. Then you'll see what happens to him. But I'll tell you right away that you, this has never been seen before. By the way, I have almost completed it. So now you will see this monster. I hope that you will not be too afraid of it, because if I saw it, I would run very fast. Okay, enough of this talk. Let's better see what's going to happen now. And no, it's not magic. Don't even think about it. So, meet my new friend. How tired am I of doing this? How long can it go on at all? And why is there some nonsense here? Hmm, strange stop. What are these sounds here at all? Oh no, what is it? Hey, leave me alone. I don't deserve such treatment. I'm actually a person first of all, and you treat me like not a person. Well, what's wrong with you? Do you understand me or not? 
Let's just not destroy me and we'll talk about everything. I know that you understand me and I even know who created you. This is the work of Mikey. I'm right. Are you here? So, so, leave me alone. I don't want to listen to you anymore. I went to save my friend. It seems to me that this villager only distracts me from the fact that I would not find a way to save Mikey. Wow. And I haven't been here yet. His heart is here. But there's something strange here. It's some kind of devices that control his heart. It seems now I understand what was happening here. It's all the work of this resident. But I will end my friend's suffering. So, Mikey, you will be free. JJ, I'm cured. So let's destroy all these zombies and no one will stop us now. Because there are two of us now, which means that we have now become twice as strong and angrier. I'm so glad that you were able to cure me after all. So let's get this over with, because I already hate all challenge and everything related to them. And I know that you think so too. Guys, if you've watched this video up to this point, please like and subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.